I finally got myself this physics toy of the inverter magnet, where the magnet on the right moves around following the array staying a fixed distance away. You can actually get it in a slightly unstable position opposite one of the small magnets a little bit further away, but it will tend to fall into the more stable position in between the pair of the small magnets. Another fun thing you can do is watch that it actually does a few little oscillations as it comes in to its equilibrium position, which you could see there in the slow-mo footage. And again in this one where I've set it to come in opposite one of the small magnets and it actually makes it oscillate a little bit more. Let's see if we can understand what's going on in a relatively simple way. So I've labelled up the poles of the magnets and let's consider the forces which are acting on this magnet, the one that's free to move. So from this north pole of the big magnet here and the south pole of the magnet that's free to move, there will be an attractive force because opposite poles attract. They're both quite strong magnets, so it's going to be quite a strong force. So let's move a force arrow to represent that attractive force in that direction. The small magnets around this side are far enough away that they're not going to contribute a significant amount of force, so I'm going to ignore those and just consider the force from this small magnet here, and the two south poles will repel each other, so that will produce a repulsive force, which I can represent with this force arrow. And then finally, I'm going to consider the force from this small magnet, which again will produce a repulsive force because we've got two south poles, and I can represent that with a force in this direction for that repulsive force. Now, to think about what's going to happen in terms of those forces, we need to work out the resultant force, and because those forces are acting in lots of different directions, we have to add them together as vectors, which means we need to rearrange them tip to tail. That means where one arrow finishes, the next one starts. So let's rearrange them tip to tail. We can see that it forms a closed loop, which means the resultant force is zero. If you move this magnet a small distance closer or further away, then the force from this big magnet doesn't change much because the rate of change of the magnetic field from this big magnet is quite small. So that force remains roughly constant over a short distance. However, the magnetic field from the small magnets is changing rapidly, and that means if you move this big magnet a little bit closer, then the repulsive force from the two small magnets will get quite a lot bigger, which will make a resultant force pushing it away. Conversely, if you move this magnet a little bit further away, the magnetic force from the two smaller magnets, these repulsive forces, will reduce quite a bit, and that will mean that there will be a resultant attractive force, which will pull the magnet back, and it creates this stable equilibrium position. So let's finish by just watching that magical effect whereby that free-to-move magnet stays a little fixed distance away and follows the array around. I hope you've enjoyed this video.